Hi everyone. Today I'm going to give a tutorial on a new game from Bybit, Coin Sweeper and Show with examples how it works. Bybit Coin Sweeper is a game where mines are hidden in a grid of squares. Safe squares have numbers telling you how many mines touch the square. You can use the number clues to solve the game by opening all the safe squares. If you click on a mine, you lose the game. Okay, let's move on to examples. At the very beginning of the game, just tap the screen anywhere, preferably in the center. If you don't hit a mine, great, let's start thinking. The first thing we need to do is find the corners. We have a corner on the right side of the screen. What does that mean? If you see a corner, it means that there will definitely be a mine near this corner because this coin is touching the mine, and it can only touch it in this case. So there is 100% a mine here. We have the same corner on the left, so we put the flag there as well. And here's another corner a little higher up. There are no more corners, so we start counting. On the left, we see the following situation. We have a coin with the number two, and next to it, we have already found two mines, which means that there can't be more mines next to it. Otherwise, it would show the number three, so there is definitely no mine here. So we click here and open the coin as we calculated. What can we do next? In this part of the screen, we see a coin with the number two and the mine next to it that we marked before. The coin has the number two, which means it is surrounded by two mines, and this is only possible if the mine is here. So put a flag here. Further, we see a coin with the number three, which is already surrounded by three mines, that is, we can open the next square. On the next coin, we see the number two, and again, it is already surrounded by two mines, so we can move on. Next, on the right side, I noticed that there is already a mine near the coin with the number one, so it definitely can't be here, so I open it. Overall, this is the core process of the game. Let's go again. In the beginning, find the corners and start the game process from them. Further, by counting and analyzing, close those places where there is a mine with 100% probability and open new coins. The more coins you have open, the easier it is to analyze the field and open new cells. The main thing, do not forget that the mine can be on all sides of the coin, including diagonals. So take this into account in your calculations. I hope this lesson has helped you guys and you have a better understanding of the game. If you have any questions, always write them in the comments. Good luck to everyone.